Hi friends, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a vlog. This vlog is going to be dedicated to TBRathon, which is created by my wonderful friend, Leandra. And it's all about helping you kind of read the books you already have on your TBR to get that, you know, number down. Because I don't know about you guys, but how is it that I read all these books throughout the year and my TBR is always bigger than when I started? It's not a bad problem to have, but I don't know if it's a good problem to have. But anyways, Leandra created this amazing TBR-a-thon that's going to happen the whole month of January. I will link all the information below um, so you can find the announcement video, you can check out her channel, you can find all of the resources. There are so many different ways you can do this read-a-thon. I personally am doing the bingo board. I'm hoping to go for a complete blackout. Normally, people would do a TBR video. I, however, am not doing TBR videos this year, I think. For sure, not right now. What I'm basically going to do is every single week, I'm going to record myself reading the books that I'm gonna do for this challenge because I find that when I do TBR videos, I rarely actually read the books that I pick because so much time goes by and my mood changes. And so it's just not effective. And then I feel very disappointed because I didn't read those books and I feel like I let you down and it's a whole mess. So I'm not gonna do that. And another little plug, Leandra has merch. This is mine. It's a little hairy because I have animals, but I couldn't help myself. And it's a hoodie. It's so cozy, you guys. Definitely check out the merch. It does go to the Library Association, I believe. So for this week right now, what I'm currently working on is I'm reading The Last Call at the Local, which I'm loving, by the way. I did start it a little bit on New Year's Eve day. I only got about 100 pages in, though, so I'm still going to count it. If that breaks the rules, Leandra, let me know. I'll pick a different book. I'm going to use this book for the green cover prompt on the bingo board. This book is essentially you are following a, a musician who's kind of struggling and she is currently in Ireland and all of her things have been stolen. And so she realizes she's going to have to go home, but she stops at this bar called The Local where she meets Jack, who I'm in love with, by the way, and they just have this beautiful banter. Basically, Jack decides that he's going to hire her temporarily to help him revamp his bar because him and his brother own this bar and it's not doing super well. And I have to say, I'm I'm just obsessed with this book. Both of the characters have such great personalities and they just mesh so well. I love the chemistry between them. I love the setting of Ireland and the side characters are just amazing as well. However, I did not know that this was a book in a series. So if you are somebody who cares about series, don't start with this book, but definitely put this one on your radar. Then for indie published, I'm reading Fireheart, which I've seen the cover of this book everywhere, but I genuinely don't know what it's about. There's dragons. I believe there's like elves. We're going to find out together, but I'm buddy reading this with my friend um, B over on Bookstagram and we're really, really looking forward to it. It's going to be my first buddy read of 2024. I am so excited. But then speaking of buddy reads, for the buddy read prompt, I'm also starting The Lies I Tell, and I'm reading this with my friend Amy, who's also here on BookTube. I will link her channel down below if you're interested in checking her out. But those are the books that I'm working on right now. I have not started The Lies I Tell, but I'm going to very soon. Then I will update you guys as I start adding things while I go. Hello, friends. It's been quite the New Year's Day. Um, I read the first five chapters that I was supposed to do of our buddy read for Fireheart and what can I say so far? It's an interesting world. Uh, there's lots of magical creatures. I'm really curious. Hopefully we get to meet more of them. The writing is told in third person so it has been kind of a struggle to get into the story so far. I just much prefer to be in the heads of the characters. With that said, I'm really looking forward to this story because I do believe it is going to be a slow burn and lots of angst. So I'm very excited to pick it up again tomorrow. I am very, 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 very slowly getting into the lies I tell. I'm only eight pages in and I'm supposed to have read 53. So I'm definitely behind there. Will I catch up? I really stink and hope so. I can't even tell you what this book is about because I haven't gotten far, like far enough. This main character whose name is Meg. I think her name is Meg. 
she seems to be this like con artist. All I know is that she wants to ruin somebody's life, okay? Which is a vibe. I did start listening to Percy Jackson, but really I only got through like the first chapter. I just listened to it while I was putting away laundry. I don't know what I'm gonna use um, that book for in terms of a prompt for the bingo board. So I have to think about that and then I will let you guys know. But so far I have to say, I'm really, really enjoying the audiobook for Percy Jackson. So that was a smart move on my part. Hello, my wonderful friends. It is Tuesday. I am back to work. I am tired, but I'm ready for a routine. I am so ready for a routine. So I'm here for it. It's going to be all right. We're going to be okay. 2024, we got this. Day one was not the best. Day two is going to be better. I decided what Percy Jackson is going to be in the bingo prompts. It's going to be name in the title. It's perfect. It's amazing. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. I am quite a ways in couple hours in that you want to say and the audiobook is not very long it is like 10 hours long so I'm already doing great I definitely think I'll be able to finish it today I also am a couple more chapters into Fireheart the main characters they just met they just met each other they had their little meet cute and it delivered it was wonderful. I'm so intrigued by their dynamic. I cannot wait to read more. But on Tuesdays, I don't have a ton of downtime to sit and read. So I'm worried I might actually get behind on my reading today. But it's okay. I'll just read more tomorrow. But I'll check in with you guys a little later. Hello, my wonderful friends. Today is the last day of this vlog. I have some updates for you. First of all, you'll have to let me know if you like this format. If you like me talking about multiple books at once. Or if you'd prefer that I talk about one book reading it and then another book it'd be weird to edit it because like I do read multiple books a day but I want to make sure that these are enjoyable for you so you want to watch them so let me know if you don't enjoy my chaotic like way that I describe things I'm open to feedback so I finished the lies I tell it was okay I think it's going to be a three star for me it it didn't go the way I thought it was going to go, which was disappointing. The thriller was not thrilling. It was a very slow paced thriller. So if you enjoy slow paced and you want to take your time, then you'll probably like this book. Um, it's essentially about this con artist. And I don't know if I explained this before in one of my other clips, but essentially we follow this con artist, Meg, and she's trying to get revenge on this guy, Ron, who basically is the reason that her and her mom were homeless right before her mom like died of a terminal illness. I want to say cancer. And so she blames Ron for kind of everything wrong in her life, which I mean, kind of fair. It was kind of awful what he did. And so she kind of is spending her life getting back at these men who are awful. She is... She's kind of like infiltrating their lives and destroying them from the inside and leaving nothing left. During one of her like takedowns of like one of these men, she meets this reporter Kat and tells Kat to go meet with this person and all this stuff to get like the inside scoop and something awful happens to Kat. So trigger warnings, checks, yes, please. But essentially Kat, we do like a time jump. So it's 10 years later and essentially Kat spots Meg and is like, oh, I'm going to con the con artist. Like she's like, she's like, I'm going to infiltrate Meg's life and I'm going to write this expose all about her and expose her, right? And so I was like, oh, okay, like interesting. But the plot was there, the execution was not. Like the book, in my opinion, was just boring. It was okay. There were parts of it that definitely were interesting and I was like, oh, where's this gonna go? Let's see. And then where it would go, I was like, oh, that was disappointing. So it was fine. It was fine. It's just nothing that excited me, if that makes sense. I would not recommend it really for people to pick up unless they really enjoy slower paced thrillers. And it's not a book I will read again. It's not a book I will put on my shelves, that's for sure. And then I also finished Fireheart by Emma Hamm. This book is interesting. It is very hard for me to describe. Let me do a little rundown because I don't remember if I did the synopsis or not, but Essentially, we are following Lorelai and she is kind of thrust in this position where she has to enter this competition for a chance to marry the king because the rebellion want her to kill the king. And she is part elf, part mortal. I wasn't sure in the beginning if she had something else in her, but she is just mortal and elf. And she does not want to do this, but she is she's basically blackmailed to do this. And there she meets Abraxas, who is a dragon shifter. Men with Wings, you know I'm in. I, bar I barely ever read Shifter or Romances though. So this was like out of my comfort zone. The writing was where I struggled. Because like, listen, the cover, 
beautiful. The plot, I'm here for it. It was engaging. It was fast paced. Like it kept me interested. I didn't want to put it down. The writing is where we struggled. The writing is where I had issues with this book. The writing and I just didn't vibe. I don't know how to describe it. First, it was in third person, which is never my jam. It is never my favorite. And then also like it just felt choppy and like some of the characters felt underdeveloped if that makes sense like some of their I just felt like some of them were very cardboard cutouts if that makes sense they just didn't have much substance to them at all but am I gonna pick up the rest of the series yeah yes I am it's like a guilty pleasure book does that make sense like it's like it shouldn't make sense but I'm eating it up I want more so do with that information what you will. I don't know if that convinced you one way or the other, but I recommend you maybe give it a chance. If you're into like fast paced fantasy worlds that like are easy to understand, I think you'd like it to be completely honest with you. I think you'd like it. I think it's very quick to get through. So give it a try. And then hopefully today, hopefully today, so I can wrap out this vlog in a very nice way. I will finish the last call of the, at the local, which I'm loving, by the way. I've said it, I'm sure, in every single clip that I love it. I am. I love this book so much. I said in my sprint earlier today, because I'm sprinting right now, that I think I'm calling this now, that this will be a top fave of 2024, which is crazy to say, but I think so. And then I'm also listening to Percy Jackson, which I think I have a couple hours left. So if I can finish those two books today, that'll be the best. But I've been a little busy because I'm recording videos today too. So I'm all over the place. We're a chaotic mess, but like a productive chaotic mess. So not necessarily a bad thing. All right, I'll check in with you guys soon. Wish me luck. Hello, hello, my friends. So this is the final clip. I did it. I finished my first week of tbr -athon, And I have to say, I'm behind. I'm behind schedule. I was supposed to finish reading these books last night. It is Saturday. I'm supposed to be focusing on editing the vlog, not recording, but it is what it is. I finally finished the last call at the local. I loved it. My first five stars of the year. I just really resonated with it. There might have been a few pacing issues towards the end, absolutely. Um, and kind of how things wrapped up wasn't necessarily my favorite, but I don't care. I loved these characters. I loved the side characters. I loved the location. I loved the cat. I have to go back and read the other two books in the series. What a great way to start off my first reading week, honestly. I cannot complain. It was great. And the book made me feel all the feels because truly there's some really good representation in that book. And then I finally finished Percy Jackson. I did have to crank up the speed of my audiobook two, three, three times. Um, I was really, really loving it. And then I got to like the last hour and things just kind of dragged, which is so weird. It's so weird because you would think by the end of the book, that's when it's all action packed, but it started to lose me. It started to get to the point where I was like, let's go, let's go, come on. So that was unfortunate, but I did lose interest. So we'll have to see how the rest of the series goes, especially because I've heard really interesting things about people saying they've like DNF'd in like halfway in the series or they DNF'd even at the last book. So that makes me nervous. But I'm proud of myself for trying and for the first time in my adult life I have finished Percy Jackson. I finished it and that's all that really matters. I I don't know if I wasn't doing my read along if I would continue. Probably not. But I'm hoping that when I'm not doing a readathon next month maybe I can take my time and not feel like I have to get through it so quickly. Maybe that was part of the issue. But it was still fun and now I'm really excited to be able to go watch the show. So it all is a win-win, honestly. But thank you so much for watching my first TBR-a-thon vlog. Yeah, so far, four books on my bingo board. Pretty exciting. Maybe I'll be able to put up a graphic to show you guys exactly what it looks like right now. But I'm getting ready to transition to start the next vlog. And I wonder if you guys have any guesses on what prompts I'll be doing next. But all right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!